Hi guys, Dave here. Today I want to talk about my new purchase, one of these little robotic vacuum cleaners. I've been wanting one for a long time now, and I finally bought one. I found this one on eBay. It's a refurbished. It's a D-Bot M80 Pro, and it comes with a little simple instruction booklet if you want to more details about it, you need to go to their website and download the manual. Uh, it comes with a little remote here and it comes with a docking station that you can on uh, where it charges it up at and everything. Well the reason I bought this thing is I've got a cat and anybody that's got a cat that knows they all time shedding hairs and everything and trying to sweep up the hairs is a little troublesome sometimes. Sometimes they'll stick to the broom, sometimes they won't. But uh, that's one reason I got it. Plus it, it'll go underneath some cabinets. Um, I've been using it around the house here for a week or so and it's cleaned out from under my bed. Uh, where I can, before I would have to move to my bed and everything. Uh, so let's see this thing in action here. It acts like it's got stuck in there. He'll finally work its way out. But you can control it uh, manually here by turning it. And then you can help it out then. Then go ahead and push auto again. Okay, for this demonstration, I've got some cat litter here. So I'm going to put it down the floor here and we'll see how it does on it. Okay, on the remote, it's got a thing for the spot clean, so let's try it out, and it should kind of just go in a circle. I ain't gonna go over all of the controls on here. You can set a timer and everything and hook up to wireless. You can download an app for your phone. Um, it's got a homing button here. You push home and hit a go over and find its docking station. It'll take a little bit to find it. see how much it got here. Well, you see it picked up the cat litter and some more little cat hairs. Yeah, I picked up your hairs, girl. Let me empty it. Now it's got a little filter in here and everything. Yeah, but 
that's yours too. And it comes with a little a little brush in here and a little thing to if the hairs get tangled up on the brush on underneath. Plus, it comes with a couple of extra brushes. Plus, this model here comes with this mop attachment. So, let's put it on there. I've not tried it yet, so let's try it out. And it goes on underneath. Just pops in place like that. Now it's got a little door back here to put some cleaner in. So let me take it back off, put some cleaner in it. Then we'll stick it back on there. And as you can see, I've got a few hires I need to clean off here too. Well, you can see I put some I put some mop and glow in it. Let's try it. Okay, guys, I've moved my china cabinet, and you see some spots down here. Uh, I just going to see how the mop does on it and I'll probably just use the spot clean mode on it so that way we can concentrate just on one of those spots. So let me move it over to it. Now I'm going to have to spot clean mode. That's that one right there. My china cabinet hasn't been moved in years. So these spots is probably done on well stained. So, on, uh, so we might have to spray some extra. So you might have to spray something over the heavy duty spots. So now let me try. We can see it done a lot better on that. So, any spots that's down real tough, you know, go ahead and pre soak them and it'll help it out. Okay, guys, after running across a few times, it cleaned that up pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Well, to keep it, to keep it in another room, I'm trying to put a broom down and see if it'll cross it. one thing it seems like it just wants to go everywhere it would be it would be better if it stayed in one room and clean in one room before it went to another one but it's got a it's got a mind of its own <laughs> I took the little cleaning thing off and you can see it picked up quite a bit of crap here you know I see it running across the floor you couldn't see it on the camera yeah, it's cleaning and everything. Um, my floor has not been clean in a while, so to, um, I don't know how to. I might have to clean this and let it do it again. But about to use all the the stuff in it. Well, you see that it's turned red. The battery's getting low, so it's trying to find its way home. It's not in there, buddy. <laughs> Okay, now when they let it charge up. Okay, this is the back side of it here. Uh, the little brushes, they just pop on, pop off. There's a, there's a red and a green for different sides. Uh, the big brush here, if you get real, a bunch of hires in here and you can't do it on, um, get them out good. Just push these little tabs in here and lift up. Then you can pull it out and then clean all it out from there. 
Now to pull out this is flip this little handle up and pull straight up. Now look at there. Look at all that trash in there. You know you think you clean around your house and then you've got something like this that goes under your cabinets and places that you can't get. And it opens up real easy. It's got a handle right here. Let's see. It's got a little filter on it and everything. So let me empty this out. And to put it back in there, slide down, put the handle down. Now we're ready to go again. So what do I think about the little robot? Oh, it does a pretty good job. You know, it's not gonna get everything. Uh, it don't get it close to the edges as as you think it should, but it's round. So then, uh, you know, if it was kind of a more of a square shape, I think it might do a little better, but then it might get stuck in some places. I like that it goes underneath the cabinets, goes underneath my bed and everything, and cleans out some dust and everything out there. Um, the mop part, did a little bit better than I thought. And if you got some tough stains in there, you know, pre-soap was something uh, to help out with that. Uh, overall, I think I like it. You know, I bought this and refurbished off eBay, and uh, so my opinion, thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.